Come on, y'all. Let's have church this morning. Come on, put your hands together for him. Come on. Put them together. Listen. For the rest of my life. I'm I'm serving. Rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I trust him. I trust him. Rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah. I serve him. The rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I trust him. I trust him. You've been so good to me. your pastor Pastor Carlo giving me this opportunity once again to share with what does said the Lord I thank God that God is not through with me yet And I ask you right now to bow your head briefly 
as we ask God for in his leadership in declaring his word. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God. Fall fresh on us. Lord, use me. Use me for thy name's sake. Use me for thy glory. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in thy sight. Speak, Lord. For thy servant, hear thee. In the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord, I do pray. Amen. Amen. Thank God for these officers once again, and thank God for each of you. It's just good to be here in the house of God one more time. And I thank the Lord for... The G2 praise team. When they get up, they don't mind allowing God to use them. Amen, somebody. And when they sing, you can feel the power of God. Name being glorified. I'm not going to keep you long, if thus said the Lord. But if you will, turn with us to the gospel written by St. John, chapter 8. St. John, chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. When you have it, say amen. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Notice this word. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I want to reason with you from this thought, telling it like it is. Telling it like it is. It's Jesus' desire today That we hear him, believe him, and obey him. Telling it like it is. From liberation to uh, transformation. Keep me, Lord Jesus. From liberation. To transformation. Notice, if you will, from the text, John 8, 36. Jesus said, if the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. So my question came to myself. And I'm rendering it to you. What has kept many of mankind in bondage, even to this day? What has kept us in bondage? 
and especially our black uh, race. My brothers and sisters, it has been lies being told that keep you and I in bondage. Now remember once again that from the text, John 8, 32, Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Whether you know it or not, Jesus came telling it like it is. Telling it, talking about the truth from God, his Father. God's truth is one of the most powerful things that he has ever given unto mankind. And he have given us some tremendous blessing. Namely, he has given us salvation. He has given us love. And he has even given us the Son, which is Christ Jesus, our Lord. We need the truth be told. And I want to ask you this question. How many of you here today have been lied to? Well, how many of you have ever told a lie? And, and don't lie now to yourself. Don't, uh, um, don't, don't lie to yourself now. Uh, you don't sit here and act like you ain't never told a lie. Amen. We remember when people have lied to us, but we, we try to forget when we done lied to them. But I want you to notice from this text this morning, there's three things the Lord want you and I to really keen in on. Today, Jesus teach us you can know, you can have, and you can be free. You can know, you can have, and you can be free. Brothers and sisters, one of the brothers have already mentioned it, maybe both of them have mentioned it, uh, but there's a lot of lies been told today. Come on, somebody. Lies about the, the abortion law. Are you hearing me? Lies about COVID and, and, and the vaccine. Lies about the mask. Amen. Are y'all praying with me? Uh, many lies have been told and is being told. If you don't believe me, just turn on your TV. CBS, NBC, CNN, and, and others. And, and, and you flip from one channel to the other, and you see, well, uh, somebody got to be lying. Come on, somebody. Uh, President Biden just the other day spoke six part new points concerning the COVID and, 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 and other issues. And, and before he could even the words leaving his lips, uh, one of the channels, uh, 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 I'm not going to call it a channel, but uh, uh, one of the channel Fox uh, uh, said he was lying. Y'all missed it. Yes, y'all did. Y'all missed it. Y'all caught me talking about Fox, but y'all uh, y'all missed me standing here lying. And I asked God to forgive me right now because I said I wasn't going to call the challenge. Come on, somebody. We need to hear. We need to believe. And we need to obey. John 8, 26 says Christ came. Telling it like it is. 
from liberation to transformation preaching. And I found out that liberation preaches is that transformational preaching that's intended to affect change in nature and in destruction of people and society. But transformational means that the condition of one mental and physical existence has been altered. So many of our minds have been altered right away. Uh, even when you leave here this morning, somebody going to ask you where you've been. And, and when you tell them where you've been, somebody ain't going to believe you. Come on, somebody. Uh, but our minds and our hearts need uh, to be changed. Notice with me in the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. The Bible says, and be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Lord, have mercy, Jesus Christ. The writer says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The only possible way for you and I not to be fashioned after this world is to be transformed in our mind. Change. Inward nature. And that new nature that only Christ can give. The mind must be completely changed if we are to live a life that is holy and acceptable unto God. Can I get a witness here? The reason the change must be undertaken is that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The book says prove. Tell me something uh, that uh, when I think about prove, it, it tells me something uh, is being tested. Are y'all proud with me? Scrutinize. Uh, example. Example. When, when we put the will of God to the test of actually experiencing, we will find that it is good, acceptable, and perfect and shall deserve the end results that God have in mind. When you've been put to the test. I said, when you have been put to the test, you can stand and prove that Satan is alive. Amen, somebody. In the sight of God. I thank God. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18, a says where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. And we all with unveiling face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being changed into his likeness from one degree of glory to another. Don't you think everything is going to happen overnight? Y'all ain't praying with me. I've I, I been in here in, in, in God's room with him for many, many years. Uh, but there's still some things uh, that the Lord is changing in my life. But I thank God for the text today. John 8, 31 says, and you shall know the truth. Amen, somebody. Just yesterday. Uh, they was commemorating and calling it a day of remembrance. Y'all do know when the tower fell. They were remembering those who have lost their lives. And uh, thank God. I thank God 
God showed even in those towers that he was and is a powerful God. I, I heard on one newscaster where uh, there was a gentleman that was high above. And when uh, the plane hit those towers, uh, it knocked him down 15 floors. And he is here today to tell somebody how good God is. Y'all ain't praying with me. Yes, I thank God for his holy and divine word. Uh, according to Jesus, Jesus says, uh, uh, for he said, I am uh, 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 not in this world, but I, uh, I'm not of this world, but I'm in this world. Help me, Holy Ghost. And, and he, he said, he that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but shall the light of life. Aren't you glad that God has brought you out of some of those all dark ways? Amen, somebody. Yes. I'm talking about that was time when uh, whiskey was all right with me. Y'all ain't praying. But I thank God the taste is gone. The desire is gone because God has brought me from the darkness of sin into his marvelous light. Thank God for the word of God. Jesus said, and church, this is one scripture we should never, ever forget. Jesus said in his divine word, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Church, I'm telling you, Jesus is letting us know if we continue in his word, we will be able to see the results of a true discipleship. Oh, I need to preach anyhow. Yes, I thank God. For your pastor. I thank God for Pastor Carl. I thank God for William Clark. I thank God for Jesus Christ. Jesus said in Luke 4, 17, 19, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recover of the sight to the blind, to sit and liberty to them that are abused, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. What I mean is on any given Sunday morning, your pastor have to stand here and declare the everlasting truth of God's word. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, uh, what God gives him may hurt you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And sometimes, uh, what God gives him may heal you. <laughs> But I want you to know today, never forget about where uh, he come from. If he come from the word of God, Jesus told him to tell you, and I'm here to tell you today, know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. One thing I declare unto you today, you got to realize First of all, Lord have mercy, don't never forget the source. Ain't God all right? What I mean is, where did the word come from? Ain't God all right? We must realize that we are fighting against the temptation 
of Satan. And I stumble by to tell you, if Jesus was lied to, so shall you and I be lied to. David said, ain't God all right? In thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Things, I said things, are being changed for the bad and for the worse. But I got God's word. God told me to tell you, I had fainted. David said, I have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What are you talking about, Reverend? It's getting so bad. It's getting so bad. Every now and then, I need to see God's goodness. Ain't God all right? I thank God. But when I know, when I know that I know what Jesus had gone through, I can walk and talk and tell the world he's a healer, he's a forgiver. Do you remember when Jesus had gone away in his ministry? The Bible says he was 40 days in the wilderness. Y'all ain't praying. And when he got through, y'all ain't praying. When he got through, Lord Jesus, when he got through, the devil came and tempted Jesus. Do you remember some of his lies? He told Jesus, I am the God of this world. If you follow me, Good God Almighty, but I thank God Jesus didn't mind falling the devil but because there's something he had to tell the devil, and that was the truth. Ain't God all right? The Bible said the devil told Jesus, if you bow down to me, I'll give you everything you see. Some of us today is caught up in what we see and Satan is telling us a lie that we can have, we can have what we desire. But I got a word, I got a word. The word is true. You must be born again. You must be washed in the blood of the living God to have what Jesus have, to be given what Jesus give. And brothers and sisters, whatever lie you've been told, however things seem to be, I got a word for you. And the word come from the Lord. It says, wait on the Lord, yes, sir. be of good courage, yes, sir. and he shall yes, sir. strengthen thine heart. Yes. Wait, yes. I say on the Lord. Yes. Don't get in no hurry. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. You can't walk in front of Jesus and yes. expect him to be leading you. Y'all yes, yes, ain't praying with me. Yes. I said, you can't walk in front of Jesus and expect him to be leading you. You got to take a step back and say, Lord, here am I. Send me. The truth must be told. And I thank God Jesus is yet telling it like it is. God bless you. We're going to ask you to stand. Today is the day of salvation. Is there one who would like to come to Christ right now? His love is yet extending to those 
who will come and declare that he is the savior of the world. Mm -hmm. But he says, I come to seek and to save those that are lost. Will you come today? Tomorrow may be too late. So you ought to come right now. While the Spirit of God is touching your heart, you must come to him right now. The Bible even declared that Jesus waited until the Holy Spirit came and empowered him because he simply wanted to know, show us the way to have salvation in our life. Won't you come? Won't you come? the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, Salvation. rest, rule, and abide here and forever. Let all of God's Honor children sing together. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And keep you is our prayer.